Sean O'Brien. Uh, I am in charge of logistics for the Cyber Grand Challenge here. Uh, so I manage all of the, uh, the logistics of putting on and producing this event. So these racks are heavy. They're about a ton each in terms of weight. They are the size of uh, like a large refrigerator box or a vending machine. Each HPC rack that the team gets has 64 individual nodes inside of it. Each one of those nodes is powered by two 2.5 gigahertz Intel Xeon processors. Each one of those nodes also has 256 gigabits of RAM and two one terabyte hard disks for storage. Each one of those requires its own power and cooling. We are putting in liquid-cooled racks uh, because these things run so hot that we can't do a typical air-cooled scenario inside this ballroom. So each one at, at our maximum theoretical uses about 22 kilowatts of power. Our entire suite of equipment out there is gonna run about 250 kilowatts of, of total power used. We've exceeded the, the capacity of the hotel, so now we've got to bring in industrial chillers and actually pipe water in from these chillers operating on the curb outside the casino you know, up through the loading ramp. Uh, we're running thousands of gallons of chilled water into the ballroom to cool these racks. We have thousands of feet of piping and hosing that we're putting in. So yeah, plumbing is, is a bit of a challenge. I now have it converted and, and transformed into a liquid-cooled data center. Chillers are up and running, everything's watertight, and we're circulating water today. So another um, big challenge here is, you know, we've taken great pains to create this air gap, uh, and that uh, everything that happens inside the air gap is happening autonomous. And so the only way data flows out of that air gap is through our air gap robot, which uh, is literally reading CDs worth of burn data from inside the air gap and then physically moving that CD across and outside the air gap and dropping it into a CD reader where it goes off to our, our scores and, and visualization. It's certainly some sleepless nights and, and a lot of hard work putting one of these events on and, and really doing all the risk mitigation to make sure that it goes off without a hitch. But there's a huge reward at the end of the day. I mean, because you can look at your kids and, or your friends or your family and say, you know, that thing that you, you heard about, I was there when it started.